Hey guys, welcome back to Half Blood Prince, and in this part we are going to go and speak to um, Katie Bell because she's back from Hi, her Mary. injuries. Hi to you too. Hello. How are you, Katie? Give me a moment. I know you're going to ask, but I don't know who cursed me. I've tried to remember, but oh, just Malfoy just conveniently appears. I find that very interesting that Malfoy just appears at that very moment. Doesn't that tell you who did it? It is Malfoy, yes. Let's go speak to him, or at least give chase to him. Right, so we've got to chase Draco halfway across the school. You've got to keep up with him, otherwise uh, he will go out of sight and then you'll be fucked. It's easier to do this while running. I have to admit, it's far easier. God, Draco's really going fast. My word. This is the time we get to finally go to Morning Myrtle's bathroom. After all this time, um, we finally get to go in there. <laughs> I like this music though, it's a nice trumpet fair. Ooh, the screen's going red there because I was getting out of sight of him. Uh, let's go straight into Morning Bartle's bathroom and duel him. Literally. Just leave me alone, Potter. No. And ooh, that's nice. I get him straight away from the bloody corpus. Oh god, that is so much damage. Did you see the amount of health that I knocked off there? And done. That was insane the amount of damage that I did with a charged up spell. What the fuck? That was just. Don't weird. touch me! Don't you dare touch me! Oh, and Snape just you happens to be here. Wing. And you, Potter, where did you learn that spell? He didn't even see the spell. It was in a library book. Oh, Snape's Liar. close to shivering. You are to gather all your school books, all of them, and bring them to. Oh dear, Harry, you should have done that spell. I think. I think it was a bad idea. Several I mean, hours later. You didn't recognize on Draco. I didn't mean to. He was trying to curse me, and I, I just. You have to get rid of the book, and I know just where you can hide it. I agree. Let's go to the room of requirement. The room of requirement. I like how they're just standing right next to the object that Draco is trying to mend. The vanishing cabinet. She just chucked. She just chucked it. She didn't actually bother to look where she was chucking it. I've got a secret too. Oh really? Oh yeah, kissing. Okay, fine. When a bird just comes out of the vanishing cabinet. Okay. So did you and Ginny do it? What? Hide the book. Oh yeah, somewhere in the room of requirement. Even I don't know where it is. Hidden well, in the book. I think it's a good thing. I mean, using an untested spell on someone. I know. At least you can concentrate on your proper mission for Dumbledore. You haven't had much luck so far, have you? Ooh, this is a good bit. Well, maybe luck is what it will take. Felix Felicis. Now there is a bit here where you use um, the Felix Felicis and it really does a lot. Basically every spell you cast um, will... Um, well... Yeah, it basically means that when you cast for mini shields, you get tons all the time. I think I'll take a walk to the. Home I like the jazzy music though. If you listen to it. You need to find Slughorn, Harry. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Or First person would. Uh, you're on a fixed path. I recommend having your wand out and just keep casting because look all the mini crests you get. It's like crazy. Look at me, look at you just constantly get, it's because you're lucky, so you always get maximum amount. So just keep casting until you run out of time. So even at point blank range, you'll still get like, tons like that, see? So this is the best chance to get mini crests, simply because you'll always get a maximum supply, you'll have to run around like crazy. Uh, I would admit that, um, you don't really get them at the right point, god, where are we going? See what I mean? You, you won't get all of them because um, they're all in the wrong place. Sometimes you don't always get near them. So just try to get as many as you can, really. 
you'll get plenty of um, crests out of this. So I'm just going to keep tapping. Everyone just gets out of the way. See what I mean? Look at all the mini crests again. Oh, there's a shield that we missed. You think you're so clever attacking Draco like that? He was going to use Cruciatus on me. Now we're going to use Stupefy on you. No. Nope. Really don't want to fight me tonight. Basically, you won't take any damage in every spell you cast hits. So you don't actually need to worry about uh, getting hit. You won't get hit at all. So you don't have to worry at all. I can't hit him. Oh, get him! As soon as you cast a spell, it just immediately hits, no matter what you do. Like that, so, I mean, you can see that I did that so quickly with Felix Felicis. Shame oh, you can't do it multiple times, time, but never boy. mind. I don't need luck to beat you. Come on, give it a shield. Oh, got a mini crest. Uh, a mini, um, mini crest shield. We're taking a long way about this, apparently. That means plenty of mini crests for me. Come on, just give me crest, 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 crests. Just keep casting until you get like loads of them. I, I know this is like the most awkwardest method of doing it, but it works. That is a waste because I won't get them. Yeah, unfortunately, it will just cast and you won't have any control about which ones you get. So you just gotta hope that you catch enough. There we go. Look at all these crests coming to me. It's great, isn't it? I mean, look at them all. Crest Bonanza. I like the jazzy music, I have to admit. I think we've got plenty. There we go. More. Oh, hey, Slughorn. That's a venomous tentacula. <coughs> beard. Sorry for that. Are quite valuable, aren't they? Yes, I'm not interested in selling them, of course. My interest is purely... <laughs> That's what, I like how he just assumes that we think we're trying to sell them. Many galleons. Have you tried using a dragon dung fertiliser on it? You think that would work? Of course. Ah, oh, yes. I have a feeling it will. Oh, yeah, really, do you? Unless you're going to make the dragon dung fertiliser. Uh, Sloth brain. God. 70 seconds? That's tons of time. God, that's tons of sloth brain I just had to use there. Oh, we get tons of time to do this because of the fact where you've got Felix Felicis. So, you won't fail on this. If you fail on this, then you're doing something wrong. Um, seahorses. No, drop that. There's no way you can fail on this one just because there isn't. Because you've got Felix Felicis. I think it affects you on on um, the potion making bit here. Um, yes I am. Oh, God, that looks like big turds, doesn't it? Slughorn, why the hell are you telling me about good work? Oops, almost pouring it all out over the place. Oops. Yeah, you don't have to worry about going over because I pour is pouring way too much there and it's still counter as green. Oops, just let that drop out. Toasted dragonfly thorax. See what I mean? It just stays that colour. It doesn't even uh, change. It just stays the colour until you stop pouring it. So you don't have to worry about it at all. And there we go. Perfect. You get. Look, I mean, like you just go straight up to maximum score. You don't have to worry about it at all because you've got Felix. So you don't have to worry about it. You'll get the maximum score you can on that. Unless you're just dithering. I don't think that is maximum score, but I think it's as close as you can get to maximum. Shall we try it, sir? Spectacular! 
after like a short pause, it just ha so happens but to you work. Shouldn't be walking about at night, Harry. Actually, sir, I'm just about to go for a walk down to Hagrid. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go up walking the castle grounds alone. Oh, what a shame! Well, by all means, come with me, sir. Yeah. Well, I just do nothing. <laughs> Apparently, there's just a cutscene fade here. Oh, what a shame! Aragog's dead. I knew you'd come to more. Oh, it's interesting because we don't actually mention this at all. It just happens. Aragog, a giant spider, an acromantula that lived in the forest. Hagrid counted him as a friend, even though it tried to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> he was just being friendly. Yeah, friendly. He's trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> not delicate, but acromantula venom is very valuable. Would you mind if I extracted a vial or two? Then maybe spoke a few words over the disease. Oh, I agree. Aragog, I'll miss you, old friend. <laughs> Farewell, Aragog, king of arachnids. May your I thought I got that shield over there, that, that crest and the, the, the plant. I'm so sorry if maybe the game just doesn't... Just take out the crest that you've used. I don't know. To Aragog. To Aragog. Do you know why I survived? <laughs> that was a random two Aragog and a fade past. Oh, no, my boy. Your mother. Oh, she was one of my absolute favourites. She sacrificed herself for me. For everybody. Professor, I'm going to tell you something. It's true. I am the chosen one. Only I can kill Voldemort. But I need your memory to do it. I need no, we don't need your memory. Earlier we were told what it was that we were looking for. Horcruxes. We don't need to see this stupid memory to find out more about what we already know. Game logic. And now we must take this to um, thingy. And uh, Felix Felicis is worn off now, so obviously you have to um, make sure you get as many crests as you can from the while you're under the influence of Felix. We're up to 97. As you can see, we're not getting bursts like we were before. Anyway, it's night time now, unfortunately. It wasn't a second ago, but apparently we'll just take it. So we're going to go to Dumbledore in his office. Who is quite some distance from this point, I can tell you. I'll, cut I'll, I'll stop the part when we get to his office. Because it's just about the right point to stop at, in my opinion. Just try and get as many of these crests as possible. And, oh, there's a crest up there that I've not gotten. Look who's still creeping about. I haven't got time for this. Neither do I. Oh, that hit. That's perfect. That did a lot of damage, not tons. And done. Come on, die. There we go, done. Malfoy will make you pay, Potter. Oh, really, will he? Malfoy will join his loser father in Azkaban before he ever beats me. Oh, I agree. Sir, I've got it. I know, we just go straight to the, the, the thing, okay, fine. This is spectacular news. I knew you could do it. Harry, quickly. So don't have to go all the way to his um, office. We Look just get teleported gone. there. Now, at last, we shall see. Horcruxes. That's very dark stuff indeed, Tom. To make one, you would have to split your soul. And to do that, well, murder. Killing rips the soul apart. But to think of doing that once is a violation against nature, but seven times. So, Horace told Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. I think we already worked that out earlier because he did say Horcrux. That wasn't censored. And while the Horcrux exists, that person cannot die. I love to know how Horace Slughorn actually knows this. has done. He succeeded in making a Horcrux. Oh, he succeeded, and not just once. Well, of course we know that. Seven. He tore his soul into seven pieces. One resides within him, the other six. Well, you uncounted one Horcrux here in your second year. Tom Riddle's diary. Of course. I have accounted for another in the form of this ring. That's how you hurt your hand? Yep. And that's where you've been going, to search for the Horcruxes. Of course. Yes, and I think, perhaps, 
I have found the third. Okay, good. The time comes. I shall need your help to destroy it. Okay, good. Well, just wait for that moment then. And Snake's making you do the detention? No! He knows it's the deciding match. Of course he does. You'll have to fly instead of me. Dean can take your place as chaser. Gossiping oh. when you should be waiting by my office. Oh, come on, Snake. Stop being such a cunt. That will be ten points from Gryffindor. Does it work? Oh, I'm not late. I'm not late, sir. There's no need to call me sir. <laughs> that is not a good I idea. I have thought you had enough detentions after the incident with Draco Malfoy. Do you require another? I'll piss off, Snape. Oh, 20 points just for doing that. Go to my office. Gryffindor will just have to manage without their chosen one. Poor Gryffindor. Fourth place in the Quidditch Cup this year, I fear. Win that match, Ginny! Win He's a rhymer. We didn't know that. He's a right. He rhymes. Where's Harry? Snape made him do detention. I'm flying a seeker today. Great. If we win this game, we could win the cup. That's what I promised Harry we would do. We are going to win the cup. Stop being so sulky and let's look at the notice board for the warm up Harry's planned. Well, let's take a look. Right. Here's what we're going to do. And I think we're doing a Quidditch match with warm up. Instead of flying with Harry, we'll fly with Ginny instead. Oh well. Well, let's do this with Ginny then. Okay, fine. Uh, why are, are there two Ginnies or something? Be fun if it is. God, we're fast. There we go. I'm just kind of flying loopy around this circuit. So as before, just do the stars and um, and then catch the stitch and then do it again. It's not difficult. Apparently this is the deciding match and Snape knew this, so that's why he gave um, Harry a detention. I suppose Snape is just a cool arse. Cunt um, who just likes to be annoying to Harry like that. Of course, everyone who's watched Deathly Hallows, read the book on Deathly Hallows, knows that that's not the case. Oh shit, that's too many stars to fly through, what the hell? That was good. Took them a while to give us the training dummies, didn't it? Looks like you have to miss one of them because it's too difficult to do unless you get the first one just at the right spot. I don't understand the point of the training dummy shit. I think it doesn't make sense. No, I will not watch out behind me. I just want to fly through the fucking rings without being disturbed. Get lost, whoever you are. Apparently, we don't fall off our broom. But anyway, snitch caught. Let's go and do the the actual match. Because apparently, we're going to warm up before we do matches, which I don't understand. Because they never did that in the books or the movies, did they? They just went train out to the last day, and then the next day they did the match without warm up beforehand. Oh well. We'll give Ravenclaw a right pounding. Jenny, what the fuck are you doing? Jenny, stop giving fist pumps to the air and uh, stop looking behind you. Oh, it's chill apparently. This match is not important. Jenny, stop looking behind you. Yes. Come on, let's just get on with it. Why must the snitch leave big trailing stars behind it anyway? At all, I don't understand it, but never mind. 
But we don't know by their score, do they? Also just got walked by a seeker, I think it was, from Ravenclaw. But we don't know the score, so it doesn't mean anything. I really just want to get through these rings as quickly as possible without bashing into anything to slow me down. That would be Cho then. Oh for fuck's sake, these rings are so close together, stars, so... No, because I'm bashing into everything apparently and slowing down. Yeah, I know. And apparently Cho is just drifting off into whatever. Why does that mean anything? I wonder if we could do a goal score of our own just by counting when random words are said. Why does this snitch want to keep taking us into the skies and around the outer edge of the stadium? Why can't it just fly around the stadium itself? The bleachers? What are bleachers? I'll chill piss off. That ring just got missed. What the... Damn it! What a place to put a ring! A star where you just basically crash into... things. Never mind. At least we're out of that point now. Whoa, thought we were going left. Apparently we're just going right because the snitch wants to take us around and God knows what route it wants to take. Yeah, the rings are starting to go, uh, the stars are going red, so I keep saying rings because that's what I'm used to calling them. Because they are essentially rings, even though they're starred. The I can only catch the edges of those because they're too far apart and too close. I hate it when the game puts the ring so close. Oh really? Who are all these random chaser uh, people that are coming up? No you won't. Well we're going up into the skies now. Ah there we go, we got it. God, that was a horrible circuit. Don't know what that means, but we got the grounded badge. Maybe it means we're getting stuck. Congratulations. 50 points to each Let's try 200 points then. Thank you very much. It's a shame that they don't mean anything. What happened? What happened? We won. How was the detention? Huh? Oh, Snape had me sorting rotten flobber work. Quite a champion. That's Tell a good the rest trophy. Of the team congratulations for me, will you? You can tell him yourself. I can't. Dumbledore's asked to meet me at the Astronomy Tower. I think he wants oh, to go that's interesting. to look for a Horcrux. Blimey! Be careful, mate. I will. The note also said he wants me to take some Wiganwell potion first. I'd better get going to Potions Club to make some. I'll yep. see you later. Okay, we'll go and make some uh, Wiganwell then. And, uh, yeah. We'll do the Astronomy Tower in the next part because there's not much time to do it here in this video. Stop insulting everyone, and stop insulting Luna as well. Let's go to Potions Club. And I believe we can now make um, all of these potions. Let's see, where's the Wigan Weld? Ah, there it is. Why is one of them greyed out? Wizard Weezy's Love Potion, why is that greyed out? Do we have to do some more before we can um, do that? Anyway, Wigan Weld's Potion, let's go and make Wigan this potion. That's a really difficult one. No, it's not a difficult Maybe potion at all. You make it. Good luck. Let's see, so we've got to get the... Salamander. Um, stir. Um, 
that bottle again, goodness. God, they really want to put this much salamander in it, don't they? There we go. This bottle again. They really want us to put tons of salamander into this. Oops. Sorry for not talking much here, I'm just concentrating on trying to make this potion before it Spine things. Of lionfish. I don't recall this potion ingredient in any previous game, or even any previous movie or anything. But it could be true. More why can't we just put them all in at once? Why do we have to put them in with a gap? of heating something. Oops. This is such a hard potion. Look, we don't have much time! Oh shit! That stirred up pretty quickly. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time here if I'm not careful. Oh no! This is not going well. Um. Oh, come on. Am I going to get this in at the last minute? I hope so. Not much time. Oh, I get it to time now. That's good. Almost went over that one. Oh, I get some extra time. That's good. Just by doing all that pretty quickly. And the last bottle is all we have to do. Just one mistake is all I made, which is good. There we go. Not too bad. That was a tough one. I had to rush it there at the end. But we got the top score, which is perfect. I didn't expect to win that one, actually. Last gasp, oh, we must get that one for getting it at the last minute before running out of time. Then we take the potion. And, oh, we've got more health and dueling. Well, that's perfect. Well, we've got to go meet Dumbledore at the Astronomy Tower, but that's going to happen in the next episode because I've run out of time on this video. Thanks for watching, and in the next part, we will head up to the Astronomy Tower. Bye now.